So here we have the brand new Veljuro Rogue. It's our brand new in-house product that we have for 2026. It's a enduro bike. You have the new DJI Avinox motor unit. So you have uh, more than 100 Newton meters of torque, big battery, all internal, high pivot, mid high pivot suspension with the iTrack license technology. You have a SRAM build. This is not the final build. This is a build that we did in-house with parts for Mavic. So as you can see, we have D-Maxes, we have Liat parts for handlebars and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty nice bike, I'd say. It's a game changer for people that haven't used it before. It's more powerful than what's available on the market right now. It's a bit more durable as far as battery life and stuff like that goes. And it has all the quirks and features that you want from a modern bike. So you have a steep seat angle, you have a slack head angle, long reach, so you're comfortable. Longer chain stays than the usual. Seeing as it's a mid-high pivot, the bike is going to lengthen slightly, but you have something that's like tried, tested and true. Uh, Specific for the motor, how much the torque, battery it's, level, and the amount of power. This is, I think, this is an 800 watt hour battery on it, and this has more than 100 newton meters of torque. Uh, there's updates, you can set it up easily with the toggles, as you can see here on the model. As you can see, everything's adjustable on the handlebar, or else you have the display right here on the top tube. Everything's integrated, cables and stuff like that. It's cables, so it's tube in tube technology, so for everything. As you can see, this one's with a wireless transmission, so it's not problematic, but if it's wired transmission too, you have the cable ports and everything, so everything from a modern trail bike that you want or an enduro bike uh, for this. Uh, How much does it weigh? It's around 45, depending on the build. So this one's probably more around like 48 pounds because we have DH casing tires and heavier rims than usual. Uh, the stock build comes with lighter wheels, lighter casing tires, but we wanted to focus on a durable build, so hence why we went with downhill casing tires and double down in the front. So it's a bit, I would say it's in between. It's lighter than most full power e-bikes, but at the same time you have something that's like, as you can see, the weight of the bike is centered lower and stuff like that. So center of gravity, everything's enclosed lower in the frame. So really nice, really stable for all kinds of trails. And what about the warranties? Warranty? Warranty on this, uh, that's a pre-production sample, so there's no warranty on that one, but for all warranty and stuff like that, you have warranty for two years on the frame, and for everything else that's part related and stuff like that, it's handled in-house, it's George Distribution, which is Longto NRG Distribution. So we have, uh, yeah, something that's really interesting and something that's like, uh, it's only a higher, as you can see, it's a high travel bike, so it's like more than 140 millimeters of travel. They don't have a smaller bike yet, but it's maybe something that's in the pipeline to, uh, it's carry with the all type of the mountain bike or just, just only trail? Uh, this one is more enduro slash almost downhill focus. As you can see, you have really slack head angle. The wheelbase is really long. So it's going to be more stable combined with the mid high pivot, which makes it for a bike that's really stable in like rougher grounds and such. Uh, but yeah, it's really meant toward more like uh, enduro slash downhill type of riding. Uh, the bike less than a month ago so it's a work in progress as i said this is a pre-production sample so as you can see link and stuff like that it's not finalized the link is going to be anodized black uh, this as i said this is an in-house build so this is not representative of the final specs of the bike uh, all the specs are uh, available directly on the veljuro website and apart from that it's an uh, interesting project i'd say uh, it's something that we had the privilege of choosing certain parts in-house we have the brand new golfer shark rotors in the front we have the kashima version so we have like Kashima rotors and stuff like that, fits really well with Kashima fork. And it's all products that we have in-house that we can order or make custom. 
Uh, the cool thing about this bike too, is it comes in two spec level. This one is the GX Axis model. It comes with a higher end model, which I think is spec with XOSL, so it's a bit lighter weight. But you can also have the option of a frame only. The frame only comes without a shock, so you can tailor made it to whatever you want kind of build. So you can really have the fun of like choosing the parts spec by spec. Uh, so yeah, you can make a à la carte montage with it and it's uh, really, it's a nice portfolio. The other brands, but compared to other brands, it's a bit less, you have less rattle and stuff like that. Battery is all enclosed in the frame and it's secured, it's secured through a rail in the frame, so no battery rattling. Uh, as far as the motor unit goes, as I said, this is a pre-production sample, so we haven't really tried it extensively. But reports and everything we've heard, no rattling, no nothing at all, no problematic noises. And compared to other competitor brands, it seems to be uh, way less loud than the other brands uh, for... Uh... If you compare with the TQ. TQ? Uh, I'm not too familiar because those are, I think, used only by Trek. So I'm not really familiar with those. I haven't had the chance to ride one. Uh, the only bike I've rode technically was this one. So as I said, this is a pre-production sample. So it's not really representative. But really depending on like the output and the motor, this... I would say it has a different feeling as in like if you go like in between the power modes and stuff like that and even like the acceleration and stuff like that. It just feels like it's, uh, how can I say, it's a seamless transition, as in like there's no clunking nose, there's no like oh, all of a sudden it accelerates and it jerks you on the bike and stuff like that. It really feels like, I would say like an automatic transmission, as it's like seamless, you can transition from one mode to the other, it doesn't make no clunking noises and stuff like that. So for the whole bike, it's like, it just lets you focus on riding and stuff like that. So you're not focusing on, oh, am I in the correct mode? Is it going to clunk in or am I going to go uphill and it's going to loop out or anything like that? So for this, it's really interesting. As I said, it's a bigger bike. So it's maybe not for everybody for like, for like green and blue trails, but for everybody that's looking for an aggressive enduro bike, I would say it's really interesting. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Ah.